In Chapter 1, we learned how to use the RStudio Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, to create scripts using the R coding language and documents using R Markdown. We also learned how to type commands into the console, basically using it like a calculator. We assigned values to some variables, and we used those variables in functions. We learned how to install a package from CRAN using the package installation interface. We installed the class package, data skills from GitHub, and we learned how to load a package with the library command. We also created a project to keep our class exercises in. learned how to create and knit an R Markdown document, and how to get the chapter exercises with the data skills exercise function. Now let's open up your class project and create a new R Markdown file for Chapter 2. Remember, we go to File, New File, R Markdown. You can set the title to Chapter 2 and the author to your name. And we can delete everything below the YAML header. Let's save this file with the name Chapter 2. In Chapter 2, we'll get familiar with the different types of data in R and how you can get your own data into and out of R. Let's set up subtitles for our six learning objectives. Okay. So in this chapter, we're going to learn about data types, container types, vectors. We're going to understand vectorized operations, create data tables, and import data from CSV and Excel files. But let's start with um, built-in data sets. So if you remember our last lecture, let's start our R Markdown document with a code chunk that loads the packages we want to use. So for almost every class, we'll be using the tidyverse and also the data skills class package. We can run this code chunk. It will load those libraries. And then I need to spell data skills correctly in order for that to load. OK. So both um, the base R installation and loaded packages often come with data sets. You can go into the console here, and let's look at, use the data function to look at what data sets are available. This will pop up a new window in the viewer and tells you which data set pack are in the package called data sets that comes with your R installation. So there are um, data sets about the weight versus age of chicks on different diets, or the level of Lake Huron between 1875 and 1972. Um, so you'll see examples sometimes that use these built-in data sets, because everybody who has an installation of R has these data sets. You can also check where the data for a specific package. So just say what the package name is. So let's look at which um, which data sets come with the package data skills. And here we have some data about country codes, the three domain discussed questionnaire, um, the empathizing quotient, and some more data sets. Okay. So we can go back to our um, markdown document. And under built-in data sets, we're going to load one of those data sets. You can load a data set with the data function as well. 
And let's load the data set called small data. It's a just small factorial design. So if you run this function, now in your environment pane, it will create an object called small data. If you click on it, it will open up small data in the viewer window. And then you can see it in an interface that looks kind of like Excel. This data set is just like a, a data table that you would see in Excel. It has four columns, ID, group, pre, and post, and 10 rows for our 10 subjects. Half of them are in the control condition, half are in the experimental condition, and they provide some sort of score, pre and post test. Okay, so if we want to know something about the data sets that are built in, you can use the help function. So in the console pane, type question mark, small data. And then we can look over here in the help pane. This tells us this is a small factorial design, two within by two between. Um, and the format usually tells you what does each of each variable column mean. Right. Now we can do things with this data set, like calculate the mean of all the pretest scores. So let's assign that to an object called premean. Take the mean of small data. If we want just the column for the pretest scores, we can use a dollar sign. We'll talk about this more later. Pre. That creates a vector. Here, let's type this out. Uh, or that's the value of the mean of the pretest scores. We can get the post test scores mean. And then we can subtract one from the other to create a different score. And see how much our two conditions differ on average. This is just a taste of what we'll be able to do with data sets. We'll be working with tabular data in this format a lot. But tabular data is made up of vectors. So if we look at um, just small data pre, uh, type that in. This is a 10 item vector of the columns in the small data data set. These 10 items are actually a vector and that vector is made up of individual numbers. Um, so we're going to explain some of the terminology to help you understand the functions we'll be learning later to process and analyze data. So this chapter will be mostly about terminology of data types.